what's up everybody welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for clicking on our video today we are always so happy and super super excited to have you guys here so if you're watching today's video kindly consider subscribing to the channel which is totally free do not forget to like and share this video and also leave me a comment in the comment section let me know which gown for this video is your favorite and why So today's video is still a continuation of some of our previous video where we were giving you a few tips on wedding dress preservation and uh, if you haven't watched some of those videos kindly go back and watch them so that you're able to catch up with these amazing tips. But it's hard to say So in today's video, we're going to be starting off with reminding you not to forget your shoes and your bouquet. So by taking the appropriate steps, you may, uh, you, you can or you may preserve both your shoes and your bouquet alongside your gown. For cloth shoes, use a gentle cloth and a sponge and slightly uh, scrub your shoes with a mild detergent. And for the leather shoes, you need to give them a good polish. If you really did a number on your shoes, you can take them to, you know, a dry cleaner. And after your shoes are clean, you need to wrap them in white tissue and then you can place them in a box. Come on over, let's pick up where we left off. You and I had lots of love just to top it off. We can run and down for days, never let it stop. I just want your everything, baby. Maybe later we can dance, never let it go. Listen to our favorite songs on the radio. Losing up and lose ourselves to this feeling. Oh, I just want your everything, baby. I'll be deep under your influence tonight. Ooh, keep it coming, babe. I don't mind another round. And also depending on the type of material that your shoes are made of, you may be able to include them with your dress in the preservation box. So you need to talk with your preservationist to see whether this is possible. And for the bridal bouquet, you can always press, hang, coat the flowers in wax and use proxy, uh, use epoxy resin to, re, uh, to preserve the blooms. So 
So if you want to preserve your wedding dress on your own, I'm going to share with you a few guidelines that will set you up for success. So the first thing you need to do is that you need to always use white cotton gloves when you're handling your wedding dress. So before you go all out in the dress uh, cleaning, you need to spot test the fabric in an inconspicuous uh, area to make sure that it's not going to harm the fabric. And you also need to use the soft bristle brushes which will help you get the job done and also pick up some gentle toothbrushes and have at it. When the wedding dress uh, is clean and dry, you need to wrap it in an acid-free tissue paper or pre-washed and bleached muslin and also avoid colored tissue paper as it may stain the dress over time. Also place layers of tissue paper or muslin between the folds of the dress and this is going to avoid permanent creasing. Additionally, be sure to stuff the bust and the sleeves of the dress with uh, tissue paper to help it maintain its full shape. Also, pre uh, you can uh, place the dress in an acid-free container and store it in an area that is safe from harsh light or temperatures. Uh, for example, under your bed, you can also add silica desiccant packets inside the box for humidity control. So my loves, thank you so much for watching our video today and I will see you on the next one. Just look at me, I'm a ghost with nothing left Hollow, emptied out, but got lost, can't be found You stole every bit of me, now I can't remember